which direction do the steel combi system power broom bristle spin? That's the question that Grant Cook asked a little bit ago on the channel. Uh, so I thought I'd make a video about it. Uh, and here you can see that they spin one direction, and if you flip it over, they spin the other direction. So how do you get uh, things to shoot out in front of you, or do you want things to come back to you? And why would you want to do that? Well, in some cases, you want the stuff to broom out in front of you, because it makes it easier to gather everything up in one spot. Um, if you're trying to fluff up like artificial turf or something like that, you might want to have the bristles uh, spin towards you, sort of pull you forward, uh, just to make it easier to uh, fluff things up. So it's not like as much as you fighting against the broom, much as you just sort of having it pull you along. Anyway, as you can see in here, I uh, added some arrows so you can see what direction the broom's going. And as you can see, when you flip the guard around, that changes the direction of it. If you look here, there's a little uh, differential, and when it's on the bottom, then the broom bristles spin counterclockwise, and then when it's on top, the broom bristles spin clockwise. So it's your choice. Um, if you want them to, if you want all the material to get pushed out in front of you, have the gearbox on the bottom, and if you want all the stuff to come towards you, have the gearbox on the top. When I was spinning or moving the guard around, uh, I took everything out and everything fell out and I had to reassemble it, which was kind of a pain in the butt. So here's just reassembling it and showing you how to do it. Uh, there's a little slot underneath that you put the, the nuts in uh, for it to hold on. Then when you put it back on, it just slides down. You can try to reassemble it while it's all down there like that, but it's super painful because you've got the broom in the way. So I don't recommend that. Here's a close-up of those nuts. You want to tighten them down once you've got it over the shaft so it doesn't spin on you. All right, and what would a power broom video be without power brooming something? So here I am power brooming some grass to see what it does to it. I've used it to dethatch grass before. Uh, worked pretty well for that. And as you can see in here, it doesn't really damage the grass at all, but it does kick up all the thatching and all the, the stuff that's sunk down into it. Thanks for watching.